See, this is what people like Steve's need. This old, where your skin is all weathered and leathery and everything. It might not be much that could be done for you, but you know, little things like this. You know, non-UV red light treatment. You know, you could probably use something like that to at least take 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 a little bit of that off. You know what I mean? The vibrating floor, all that, with the fan above, red light treatment. What you know about that? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You don't know. As you you know, but it's them drugs, be. Say you admitted yourself you have not been sober since like I was either 92 or 94. One of the other said you've not been sober, you've been high on substances ever since. And you said that you used to smoke crap by way of omission because you said that you've done every drug except anything injectable and meth. So you've smoked crack and a whole litany of other bullshit. That's why you look old as a motherfucker. I missed your thing earlier, but I heard somebody was uh, comparing you to an 80 year old. At least, you know what I'm saying? You're an old, weathery looking motherfucker. I'm talking about my unibrow? That's my style, that's my originality, that's me. And where do you get this whole, I'm brand new and I'm making up a character for somebody? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been the same, like, 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 like you, you, you would, you would mention me, you know, when you try to come on that aggressive, that physical type shit, and I re respond in kind or in mean, and then you say like, oh, that's something new, you trying to impress shorty. My most wild out video was me spazzing in the street three, four years ago. I was wilder on this YouTube shit before. I've actually calmed down a whole lot. So I don't know what the heck you talking about. Oh, because I'm doing things here to make money. I've always been doing things here to make money. I come from a hustling background in DC, late 90s, early, early to mid 2000s. I was getting it. I still consider myself a shell of the earnings that I used to do then, but you know, it's, and that's not even something to talk about. That's what people should be doing. But wait a minute, people like me that don't need that validation. Hey, everybody, look what I'm doing. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know what I'm saying? And you make a huge, big deal out of everything. You know me on some cool shit, the, the type of person I am when I tried to put you onto that other hustle that you said you didn't have the money to do. You know, you bragging about how you have all this money. You can't even, you know, drop a G on a couple PS5s. You feel me? But you blew it up like it's a big thing. Oh, Tone's doing this. Yo, congratulate. You likened me. You compared me to Monty Woodring who opened up a restaurant. You compared me hustling a couple PS5s. This goes to show how low you think, B. I mean, granted, it's a cool little hustle. It has this little flip ability. When Christmas time comes around, it's probably going to be real good. I'll probably get back in it more. But that's not like the, the end all be all of hustles. That might make like, um, I don't know, like $300 per unit of a flip. You act like I have a whole, like I said, I have a whole warehouse of them shits and I'm just pumping them out. No, I'm, I was buying them shits one at a time, you know, using the right tactics to get it at regular retail price and then selling it for like 300 more. I don't know, maybe it's that out of town shit, you know, maybe, maybe me being a natural New Yorker and shit is on some, you know, different level that you don't know about. Let me see how my sound damn like this. I'm trying to make it sound vibratory because this shit is actually vibrating. Maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know. You know, us natural born New Yorkers, a lot of shit that a nigga like you would find as a big deal is not a big deal to us. So, <laughs> you acting like the PS5 game changed my whole situation. No, it's just a little hustle. One of a few different hustles. And I'm humble. I don't be talking about money like that. I might put it in music because it's, you know, painting the reality that you're supposed to be in so you could attract that more. But in general, I'm very humble. I'm very open. So if anybody got some like good legal hustles, even if it requires a few dollars or something, please feel free to let me know. Drop it in the comments. Sharing is caring so other people can get up on it and see that too. You feel me? But it's just a weird motherfucker. A weird, slow, weird motherfucker. And it's like, you tell on yourself. I didn't see the video that you did this morning. I saw the joint last night. You was telling on yourself like crazy. What you said? 
Yeah, I'm tired of niggas doing videos and act like they talking down to me like I'm little. That's how you felt? I know the angle, you know, I have the camera kind of pointing upwards where it looks like I'm talking down to you physically, so that kind of is what it is. But if someone did a video like that on me, that's not going to be where my mind's going to go. Oh, look at this nigga talking down on me. No. I'm either going to see the person eye to eye or I'm above him. I, ain't, I, don't, I don't consider myself down to no one. I wouldn't even know if someone's trying to talk down to me because my mind isn't no, my mind wouldn't go there. Your mind went there because that's how you feel. You feel inferior out the gate. Another thing you told on yourself one. When you were talking all that yah yah, that, that that threatening shit, and I replied in your chat room, I guarantee you'll get the opportunity to see me if you want that. And no response to that. That's the only thing I said, the only thing I was gonna say. Right? Shouldn't even said that, because why am I even getting triggered by this asshole? But um What did you say? You you admitted to your jealousy basically. You said, yeah, I wanna knock the tone space out just for being him, just because he's him. Always telling yourself. I don't know if it's because you get high and you forget the little game you're trying to run or if the shit is so powerful, the hate, the jealousy is so powerful that it's going to find its way to get out or maybe I'm just, you know, uniquely receptive to be able to pick up on cues to understand when niggas is doing shit like that. Whatever it is, you're telling yourself you are old, crusty, fucked up in the head, weirdo that has not known yourself. You're talking about me finding myself? Let's go back to that shit again. You're talking about me and a new person I'm creating? You don't even know yourself. You've not known yourself since either 92 or 94. Whenever the time period is that you said started the endless wave of you being mind altered due to every single drug under, under the sun. Practically, just about. So you don't know yourself. Can you take a week of not doing any um, weed or any mind altering, uh, drinking or crack smoking and all that? Can you take a week off and really get in tune with yourself? I bet you can't stand when you wake up. Because when you wake up, you had, well, a lot of people get six to eight hours of sleep. You admit that you get four. You can tell by your skin. You're all weathered and fucked up skin having ass motherfucker. So, but even them four hours, maybe it's enough for some of that high to go down. I bet you are depressed when you wake up. When you don't have that high still on your mind, when some of that or most of that or all of that went down after your four hours of, of sleeping, I bet you be depressed as a motherfucker. You looking over at that fabulous. Oh, wait a minute, y'all don't sleep together because when you had that little medical situation, heart attack, whatever, she didn't know about it until you were well into the hospital about to be wheeled into the jump off. And I'm not here to, you know, talk about that shit, that situation or whatever. But, you know, you might want to take better care of yourself. Even when you talk to me, it's, it's like, you know it's a facade because you know when you do talk to me, so I'm like, yeah, I spoke to you, I spoke to you on the phone. Usually I got nothing but kind words to say and, um, you know, inquiries and receptive to you when you whine and complain about your whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I always come with something, something real. I don't be on some like dickhead shit. So yeah, that's right. You've talked to me on the phone. So you know that everything you're doing is full of shit. It's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm here getting my red light on. Then I'm going to get my workout on. Motherfucker. So yeah. Let me, think of, let, me, let me think of some more shit to say. I don't know. I'm kind of running out of shit to say. I think I covered all, all of my points. Oh, you're talking about the music, music, music. You don't make music. Your shit is trash. You don't know how to master a song. Your shit always sounds all scraggly and crackly and shit. You shoving bars down people's throats. Let me turn the, the vibration up a bit. You shove bars down people's throats because um you need that validation. You don't know how to let your art just be its art and, and, and grow its legs on its own for people to catch the little lines that you're saying and shit like that. You don't know how to do that. You get, get it, get it. Oh, y'all be talking about me. Oh, yeah, and you don't even be getting the bars that I be saying to you. I don't listen to your shit, B. When I was watching you and you play the shit, and I bet you most people could relate to me. When you play that bullshit, we, we skip forward. I'm going to say we, yes, we. We that want to see the meltdown, we skip past that bullshit and, and we get to, you know, you crying and whining and melting down and shit. Niggas don't listen to your shit like that, B. So, yeah, I don't get whatever lines that you said to me because I wasn't listening to it. I'm skipping past that if I'm listening to you. Saying, oh, there, you be building off my lines and saying shit off. I don't listen to that. I don't even know what the fuck you be talking about. That's the other shit you said? You said some other bullshit. Let me, let me, let me, let me think about that shit. Lines, bye, bye. I forgot, but anyway, you, you, you a big fucking bozo. Niggas is not listening to your shit. Niggas not trying to build off lines from your shit. I leave you alone. 
you you always just popping up talking about me randomly. You know what I'm saying? I leave you alone because you're negative because ain't nothing to you. You act like and you claim that I have a benefit by responding to you. There is no benefit, B. Who's a bitch ass motherfucker? 